Hi everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I achieved this look on my friend Naomi. She's going to be my model today. I think this is a nice metallic green um, 90s grungy look, kind of. It has a lot of um, different shades from the Kathleen Lights palette. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! So to get started, I'm just going to apply a light moisturizer to her face. I will be listing all of the products used in this video down in the description box. After that, I'm going to pat in some softener slash primer onto the skin and make sure that really sets into the pores. Next, we're going to do foundation and using a damp sponge we're just gonna pat it all over and this is great for a medium um a light to medium coverage foundation and you can always build up with this product so next thing I'm gonna do is take that famous concealer everyone knows about I'm gonna put on the highest parts of the face where the light tends to hit that's under the eyes on the bridge of the nose, the chin, and a little bit on the forehead. And you want to make sure you really blend this out so that way it looks seamless and really blended in with your foundation. After that, I did bake. It's off camera, but I used a translucent powder. So to quickly start off the eyes, I patted on a light shade. Then taking this mustardy green color, I'm going to put it in the crease area that's going to be the transition shade now taking this unique green color i'm packing all this onto the lids you want to make sure you apply a lot of product so that way it looks very opaque then taking this deep chocolatey brown color i'm going to give the eyes some definition by putting it um closer to the lid and crease. Now I'm just going to blend it out and I do add more product to which you see right now. I'm using that brown shade and I'm blending it away and I'm going to take that mustardy color and I'm just going to apply more product on the outer corners of the eyes. You want to really make sure you blend this out so it doesn't look like a mess. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe away all that extra baking powder and then there is a lot of fallout from the shadow so you want to be slow with that so you don't smudge it on your face. Take your time with this part and then I did the mascara but it's off camera since it's a quick, fast, simple thing to do. Now to do the brows, I used a dark plain shadow. You can basically just use eyeshadow to be honest. This is just um, kind of standard thing to do, I guess. By the way, this is the Anastasia um, brow brush. It's my favorite one to use and kind of the only one I use. But after I do the brows, I'm just going to clean it up with the concealer. This really does make a big difference. And then I'm using a brow gel. Just set the brows all in place. And I think this is a brow tint. So it's, um, I'll list the products and the shades down below. And then taking this mustard color, I'm going to smudge it all over the bottom eye crease line eyelid I don't know just the bottom of the eye and you want to be careful because you don't want to poke your eye now taking that sparkly green shade and a flat brush I'm going to pack on product so it gives it a very nice pop of color honestly you could probably use water to 
um, make the color more vibrant. I didn't do that. I just had to keep adding more product. And then I extended it by the crease. Oh, and I also did the eyeliner off camera, but it's just a typical black wing. Now just dusting away fallout. <laughs> and you can see we did have a little mess, which I'll fix later on. But taking the Anastasia contour kit, I'm going to mix two light shades and apply some powder under the eyes. And this step is not necessarily um, needed. We're just doing it to kind of um, as an extra thing. So the bronzer I'm using is extremely shimmery and it just gives a good sun-kissed look. So I'm just warming up the outer parts of the face. You can opt to use a matte bronzer instead. So I'm taking this light um, matte color. It's just a white shade from the palette. I'm just going to put on the brow bones and this will just give it a little pop. Now taking the Too Faced Cocoa Bronzer Powder, this is in Warm Deep. I got this as a free freebie from Ulta. I'm just going to put on the outer parts of the face like by the cheekbones, the um, outer parts of the forehead, a little bit on the draw jawline, and you want to make sure that's all blended. Now I'm just contouring the nose with um, a contour brush from Real Techniques. I didn't want to go too intense with the contour on the nose. just want to dust it on a little bit. Taking the contour kit and using that light shade, I'm just going to clean up the contour on the sides. This will just kind of sharpen it up a little bit. So I tried using this white shimmery shade from the palette as a highlight. It didn't really show up as I thought it would. So I ended up using um, my little Christmas edition highlighter from Becca. And I believe this color is in opal. I'm using a fan brush to dust it on the um, cheekbones, bridge of the nose, a little bit above the brows chin and um, upper lip and then I'm using um, blush from Tarte. I'm extending it towards the cheekbones. I feel like that gives it more of an innocent look and after that we're gonna get the lips ready and put the Maracuja oil all over. Let it soak in the lips. <laughs> And then we're going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Gloss. It does dry matte. It's just this dark color. I think it's in Vamp. And I'm going to just put it all over. It's kind of hard putting lipstick on other people. So I do show that I'm going to conceal it at the end. Like clean up the tips and edges of the lips. So don't worry if it's messy. So just go really slow with cleaning up the lipstick because it can get really messy and <laughs> watch out for the teeth as well. So to finish off the look we're using Love Bug by Colourpop. We're going to put it towards the center of the lips. So this pretty much finishes up the whole makeup look. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much again for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.